And we are back for yet another extremely hilarious, entertaining episode of Chronic Fatigue. I am Travis Cut, joined always by Dave G. Of Dave G TV. Dave G TV fame. And Chronic Fatigue. And Chronic Fatigue. And Brokeback Mountain. He's in the background. Peeking yeah, through the tent. Yeah, no, my back. It's not broken, but it's in pain. I'm in pain. <laughs> it's sprayed it's from sprained back mountain. Feeling 15 minutes from now. Sore ass mountain. Have a miracle cure. <laughs> we'll have to see. Alright, so. Should we just get right down to it? The thing that everybody in this city is talking about. The thing that all of Canada is talking about. No, let's just save it for last. We'll talk about. Bad Teacher, the movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, All right let's, let's talk do it. About let's it. talk let's about it. it. Let's do it. Let's talk right now. The return of the Double Down. Double Down. Stack your chips, baby. Because it's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that? They brought the Double Down back? No. I do you even it. know what the Double Down is? Poker or Blackjack? I don't think skinny people know what the Double Down is. Double Down? Yeah, no, I'm not familiar. The Double Down is the most successful KFC menu uh, um, product, right. if you can call it that. Um, it is two pieces of chicken yeah. as the bread in a sandwich with, with cheese and bacon. So you're just eating like a sandwich, but no bread, just chicken and bacon. That sounds sauce. delicious. Oh that's, my that's god! That's better than the Baconator right there. I know. I yeah. thought I was fucking <laughs> chuffed when the Baconator came out. Chicken bread, dude. It was. It's like nothing I've ever had before. Well, I'm gonna have to go double down. I think. Yeah. I don't think you can handle it, yeah, skinny well, boy. No, you'd be surprised. I, I'm a bottomless pit. Yeah. Especially when I got the munchies. So you know, <laughs> you gotta make use. Of that. <laughs> um, obviously, <clears throat> all kidding aside. There is tons of shit to talk about that happened in Vancouver. I'm sure anybody that is listening to this will have already heard about it, but maybe we'll save that for, for yeah. a little bit more towards the end, because I'm sure we both have some interesting stories to tell. Well, we lost the Stanley Cup. Yeah. Let's just get that off of our chest. I don't know if everybody's aware or not. Yeah, the Stanley Cup was lost to us. I couldn't care less. No, I couldn't I care really, less. I don't like hockey. Um, Something about growing up in Ontario, I think. Yeah, kind of like... It's a religion there, and yeah. it just got... The pleasure of the game got beat out of me. Yeah. Yeah, it's... I mean, we're close enough to Toronto, I guess. Go Leafs, go! Uh, Leafs, Leafs, whatever. <laughs> and uh, now we're out here going for the Canucks, and people are freaking out, and I almost got sucked into it, too. Yeah? The hype, you know, and it swept through the city. With the jerseys? Yeah, well, no, I just... I was on my scooter, and some guy at the night of this Game 7 was just like... Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? And he got right up in front of my scooter. Like, <laughs> Who's gonna win? And I just like wasn't. Oh, like, <laughs> and then he finally said, like, "Yeah!" He walks along, but he, I, he he sucked me in, you know. And that's what happens. You get to, yeah, yeah. It's contagious, I guess. But no, I but we'll we'll uh, we just gave you a little. Oh, there. that was like the teaser. That was the like teaser. Trailer. We don't want to blow our load metaphorically speaking yeah. until the end. When we have nothing left to talk about. Yeah. Um, should we start with uh, the always popular segment, reading from Christwire? Do you want to make yeah, up a reading jingle? Yeah, Christwire. Why don't you give me a jingle of some variety? Uh, 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 reading from Christwire. <laughs> I think like that's a, my favorite one. It's a church. <laughs> that just <laughs> that just beat text from Blake. Yeah. Well, we'll work on it. You know, that's a good base. All right. So. Um, I guess we'll just do a very quick recap. Christwire is a website. Some people believe it to be a spoof. Other people believe it to be a, a very factual uh, uh, website with people's true feelings and opinions. Um, today I'm going to read parts of an article entitled, I'm extremely terrified of Chinese people. They're scary. They're, they're tiny lies. They're tiny hands like raccoons. They freak me out. Um, so this will probably go down in, in uh, chronic fatigue history with other things, like uh, how to spot a homosexual child. Yeah, Justin uh, Bieber's vagina. Justin being Bieber's exposed being exposed. On this show, you're um, here first. The, the fucking uh, uh, blacks, scarier at night, question mark? Question mark. Um, which obviously the answer is yes. 
Yeah, camouflage factor. If I look at myself in the mirror with the lights off, I shit my pants. Yeah, there's just there's floating teeth in my bedroom. What's going on? <laughs> that's racist. Uh, that David. is just that's racist. racist. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I won't read it all, um, but I, I feel there's some uh, nuggets of hilarity just kind of sitting around in here. Um, Let's see. Um, well, they start off by saying something that I think is very funny. I'm extremely terrified of Chinese people, but I'm not a racist. And you should feel the same way, too. I'm quoting them. This isn't my personal opinion. Um, much like their brethren of the USSR and the Democratic Party, the Chinese are... Um, I don't even know. Sometimes they use words that even I don't know, and I think I have a pretty fucking good vocabulary. Anyways, their lack of moral means they have no problems developing WMDs with which to bring massive death all while being genetic manipulation and cloning to ensure population boom. I, I think the last thing China wants is more population. Well, I think they've already been taking part in the cloning process because well, they I all think look it, the same to yeah. me. Oh, <laughs> yo! No, that's not true. But... Uh, yeah, they're, they're scary. They have a huge population. And, you know, you saw the Olympics in Beijing. Like, yeah. The mass amounts of people choreographed and dance they, movements. It wasn't even choreographed. I thought they just showed up and just all were of one they're, mind. They're in sync. They have a hive mind mentality. But, I want to see uh, the queen. <laughs> yeah, the queen. The queen Chinese. The queen Chinese. <laughs> I think we're just as bad as these fucking... Oh, my battery's going to die. Well, that ends today's reading of, of uh, fucking Christwire. Uh, that was reading from Christwire. Next week, we will uh, charge our batteries so we have uh, a little bit more to read from. Gotta keep your batteries charged. But I googled um, Christwire hoax, and there there does seem to be a lot of people that believe the, the website is just pure fiction. Just entertainment value, shock value. Well, I think what they're trying to... I think the idea is what they're saying is these are non-Christians yeah. poking fun at Christianity. They've been infiltrated. The Christians have been infiltrated I've been thinking of non-believers. I've, I've been thinking of making a profile on that website and just write a ridiculous article and see what what's what. Well, that's what happens. Like, all those rag magazines you see and everything, they're just preposterous phone callers calling in. Like, mm -hmm. oh, I saw Brad Pitt uh, making it with Britney Spears. So they're like, oh, publish it. Yeah. Uh, no background check, no fact check. No. no that's the news. The that's the news. news. <laughs> yeah. So, so Christ, that, was, that was a good segment. Though. Thank you. Thank you. We have a jingle. It's professional now. Fucking asshole. It's official. Why is my... It keeps like... It's like my iPod. The battery isn't dead. It, the Safari keeps crashing because of this website. It, like, hates it. Ah. Well. It's, oh, well. Uh, any... Not any Semitic, but any Christian <laughs> browser. <laughs> anti Semitic. <laughs> All right, well, let's just move on to the only other thing we have planned today, which is text from Blake. Text from Blake. Excellent. So this is an oldie but a goodie. Uh, a little background. I was just sitting on my ass playing video games, as per usual, and I received a, a, a text from Blake. Now, the first text simply says, New name for a vagina. He teased me with that text. He didn't tell me the name. There's a lot of post names for the vagina already. Yep, yep. Vag. And then snooch, a... Snooch, taco. Pink taco. Uh, yeah. And then almost five seconds later... Minge. I Let's a not minge. forget Minge. Minge. All right, yeah, five seconds later. I got another text that just says, Blue Oyster Clit. Let's see that. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> and that concludes text from Blake. Oh, there's a band called Blue Oyster Cult, I think. I think that oh, was sorry. what he was referencing. Oh, okay, yeah, well, sorry to get all technical up in here. But <laughs> <coughs> just wanted to uh, confirm. Mm. Blue Oyster Clit. It's got a nice visual to it. Well, I, I imagine that would be like a, a from Avatar. Like a uh, blue pussy. It's not like... Uh, Watchmen, the giant blue penis. Oh, God. <laughs> enough. Enough. Yeah. Visuals of people. Visuals. So now that we've done the only two things we have planned for the entire show, yeah. should we break? Break the news? No, well, should we oh, take a break? break? Yeah, we should break, and then when we get back, 
we're going to talk about the craziest thing that we've probably ever talked about on this podcast. Probably. It's going to be emotional. It will be emotional. So, you know, get your popcorn. Get Wrap your, it up. I got to poo. Know. All right. Break time. Break time. We'll poo right time. Back. And goodbye to our video viewers. Bye-bye. Peace. Because day and night, day and night, the lonely stoner seems to free his mind at night. You're back. He's all alone.